Hey guys, it's your boy Jack and I'm back to another video and today if y'all cannot see from the title of the video I'm here with a top of customers that I have had so basically if you guys are new to my channel I made a video about I think six months ago ish here it is It's the types of customers that we all come across y'all should go check that out and yeah That was before I quit my job. So fun fact. Um, I recently just quit my job at H&M so unemployed <laughs> Nah, I basically quit my job to focus on school and become a full-time YouTuber. So with that being said, stay tuned because I'm a full-time YouTuber. I'm putting all my efforts into a YouTube channel. It's my, it's my own business, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, just stay tuned because I, I, I got bangers coming, just stay tuned. And also, if you guys want to see like a story time video, like what's it like working at H&M, let me know down below by hitting the comments or hitting that like button. Um, just let me know that like if y'all want to see me do a, what it was like working at H&M story time video. But with that being said, we are basically gonna get into this video Basically, what I'm fun to do is just talk about customers that I have, the ones that I remember. And it's not going to be just specifically from me working at H&M. There might be some other ones where I worked at. Um, Sweet Hut or if y'all know what Sweet Hut is, that's a Starbucks for Asians basically, but like a boba shop, bakery, stuff like that. Um, working at the coffee shop and working at the pizza place I used to work at. So it's going to be story times of customers that I have had. I'm going to be completely honest. A lot of them are probably going to be from H&M because those are the ones that I can remember. But yeah, with that being said, we are going to get into the video. So we are basically going to start it off with a banger. We're going to start off, this is probably the first time I've ever been mad at work. This is the first time a customer that has ever made me so mad at work. Like they pissed me off so fucking much. Like this is the first time a customer had made, like legit, I asked my manager. I was like, let me, get, let me take a break. I can't do this right now. This was the first time I've ever been so fucking mad. So this story basically happened about um, two months ago ish. And so basically the day started like normal. It was like the beginning of my shift. And so this lady comes in with her son and y'all know Ty. I mentioned him in some videos. He's my roommate, also my ex coworker because I quit. Um, he had that lady the day before and that lady was causing him problems the day before. So he told me and uh, about her to be like, be careful and all that stuff. And I was like, but it can't be that bad. And it was that bad. That was so terrible. So basically what happened was, first things first, her English was not good. So it was very hard to communicate. It was her son communicating to me. Um, but first things first, I could tell that the situation was going to be bad because there was an old lady that kind of cut them or I don't know what was going on. I was just at the register trying to do my job. Um, her son and that lady were going at it like, oh, you don't got to be rude. You, I was here first. You cut me. No, I was here first. It was just stuff like that. And like, I, I was like, that's kind of funny, man. But um, that lady, she was chill, got get, like got her out. That's like story, probably like five, ten minutes. Um, then moving on to the lady and her son. So basically it started off, so basically they were trying to do an online return and trying to get like an exchange, but they didn't tell me that. They were trying to like kind of finesse the system, um, but basically they returned items and wanted to purchase some items. And the thing is, my, to my knowledge, is that we can't, um, I was basically going by store policy. Um, Cause you know how online coupons are different from in-store coupons. They were basically trying to use online coupons in store, and I was trying to tell them that we can't do that. I went on with that for like 10, 20 minutes, and I was trying to, I was trying to um, calm the situation down because I didn't want to call for my manager. It was like I was trying to just get them in and out, but she kept going and going. They kept asking the same questions and the same questions, and just saying like, it was just freaking. It was just annoying. It got to that point where I was pissed, um, and then like, cause Ty was telling me the day before she was saying some slick shit to him, and I, I would have been pissed if she said some slick shit. Luckily, she ain't saying no slick shit to me. It was just annoying, cause like, I sat there and told our policy, and then my store manager came and um, basically called me a bitch. No, I'm just kidding. She basically just overwrite what I was saying, just made the customer happy. She was making the customers happy instead of following store policies. And that's when I, I was pissed. I was pissed. I was like, what the fuck is the point of having store policies? That was like the first time I got pissed. Cause I sat there and I'm not gonna say argue. I went back and forth with this lady and her son. It was just like, what the fuck was the point? Like legit, I don't think I was right. I don't think I was in the wrong. Um, she was just basically giving me attitude for no reason, over, over $4 dude. That was, she was getting back money too from the return. The only difference was, um, 
she had um, discounts that were used on her online purchase, but we can't use those in store. So basically, when I took the returns and scanned, it was like one or two items. It was basically four a four dollar difference. She was getting back four dollars. She was mad because she wanted the full eight dollars instead of the four dollars. I and I was trying to sit there and tell her, like the difference is you're paying off the taxes and stuff, and plus we can't put that online discount on the store disc like in store. We can't use the online discounts in store. I I was frustrated. Basically, they pissed me off. I went to the back. I was mad, and that was like legit one of the reasons that I said fuck the store. I'm quitting. I can't do this shit no more. I'm over it. I was done. <laughs> but yeah, that was the first time I've ever been pissed. That was like I like I was physically pissed. Like Ty, he told me this is the first time he's seen me like that, man. We've been living with each other for about eight months, almost a year. Almost we've been living together for almost a year. Um, but he said that was the first time he's seen me that mad. That's how physically mad I was. Oh, just thinking about that situation pissing me off. So we're gonna move on to the second one. So basically, it's just a lot of customers getting mad at me over store policies that I have no control of. Like, I, I just work there, you know what I'm saying? You can get mad at me all you want, but I don't care. I just work there, I don't come up with the rules. I just go by what the job, what my manager's telling me to do. So basically what happened, this is story number two. It was basically a dad and her daughter, uh, her, his wife bought her some pants or that she didn't like or something that she didn't like. Um, and basically what happened was he was trying to return them. And our store policy is that we can't give back money on the card if you don't have that card. You need to have the same card. And he got mad at me for that. He was like, oh, that's so fucking stupid. At first, it was just the daughter who came up and he was standing far away. And I know that policy is kind of stupid. And I, and like, here's the thing. So she came up to me, I was at the register. She was like, hey, I just want to return this. And I was looking at the receipt and all that stuff. And it was like, I was like, you still have the same card. She's like, no, it's my mom's. And I was like, I was like, you know what? She was like, it was a gift. I was like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it back to you on, do you have any card on you? I was gonna give it back on any card that she want, like had. And she told me, no, I don't have a card. And then she called over her dad. That's when the situation got even more. Her, her dad, got, he, like he didn't go off of me, but he was just being a bitch. Like if he wanted, if he wanted to fight, we could, I could have clocked out. We could have fucking, I could have got my ones in, in the fucking parking lot, the fuck you mean? But. Basically, what happened, he was just like, oh, that's fucking stupid, bro. What the fuck? You're telling me you can't fucking buy shit and return it? For, you can't buy you can't buy gifts for your friends and then return it? And I was like, I I don't fucking know. I, I just store policies. I, I just work here, bro. Like, and I, I, I legit told him that. I said, I just work here, bro. I don't make up the policies. I, like, the thing is, I told him, I was like, if you have a card, I'll give you back the money on a card. It doesn't have to be the exact card. Because normally, like, for me, I don't care. Like, as bad as it sounds, it's like they told us, like, if they have a good valid reason on if, why they don't have that card that they pay with, we'll give it back on another card. And that was a good reason, because she said she got it as a gift. So, like, the thing is, he got mad at me for giving back money on another card. I felt bad for the daughter, because she was fucking embarrassed. She was just like, I was just like, bro, it's not that fucking deep. Like, fuck you mean, bro. You can get mad as you want. I hope you happy, bro, because I don't give a fuck. You just, like, you go, like, like, when people go off of me at work, I don't fucking care. I'm get, I'm here to get paid. Like, I don't give a fuck. You can go off on me. Maybe, like, yes, like I said, that one moment I got mad with that lady. But that's a different story. She pissed me the fuck off, and I was mad at my manager. Fuck that. But he got mad at me for no reason. I was just like, bro, whatever. You fuck, fuck you. Have a nice day. I gave back the money. Have a nice day. Fuck his bitch ass. If I see you, we fighting on site. Story number three. It's just basically, it's, it's more than a couple people. It, it, it's, it's just customers being stupid and customers not being able to read. So there'll be plenty of times where we'll be at like, the H&M I worked there was two stories and we would close upstairs before downstairs so we can clean and then control crowd and help clean downstairs. So most of the times we'll close the registers upstairs early. And we have signs that say, this register is closed or this register takes only cash. We would put them up and customers can't fucking read. They'll look at it and be like, can I check out here? I'm like, oh shit, this only takes cash. I only got card. I'm like, my bad, you gotta, you gotta wait back in line. It's like, if y'all can't read, like it, just, it does not make sense. And there's been plenty of times, like, you know, we're in the fucking pandemic or we were in the pandemic. Our fitting rooms are not gonna be open for your bitch ass. We like, we do not give a fuck if the, you can't fit the fucking clothes. Like, I'm sorry, we are in the fucking pandemic. Y'all should, well, why y'all fucking buying clothes in the middle of a fucking pandemic? And they, they would get mad at me for the fitting room being closed. And I'm just like, the fuck, I can't have no fucking control. I can't open the fucking fitting room. Like, 
the fuck? And what the fucking pandemic? We don't want your fucking stank infested ass fucking trying on their clothes. Because then we have to fucking de-infect all that shit. Like, come on. Like, common fucking sense. A lot of customers don't have fucking common sense. And that's what's fucking funny. And it's sad. It's like they can't fucking read and they got no common sense. That shit's just funny as fuck for me. And also, we will always have customers that come in. Like, they know we close at a certain time. But I always try to sneak in and like I'll be at the gate. I'm like, no, we closed. And then they'll be getting mad at me for closing early. It's it, it <laughs> like, but people are so fucking funny to me. It, it it don't make sense to me. It did not make sense to me. And you know, we always get those people that be trying to call for our managers. But actually, I got one story where a man, like a lady, called my manager to brag on how good I was. And not to brag on anything, but basically what happened was, I guess I was just doing great customer service. I was just being a nice guy to this lady. I, I would say this lady was probably like in her 30s, 40s. So, you know, she was, she was, she's up there. She's been like, and I was just helping her doing her job. She needed to find something. I helped her find everything. I made sure she joined our loyalty and got 10% off. I was just doing my job. And she was like, I was just joking around. I was like, I can call my manager if you can talk about like giving me a raise or whatever. And she was like, yeah, go ahead and call it. And I was like, uh-oh. So I was like, fuck it, let me prank my manager. I was like, go for MOD, manager on duty. And I was like, a lady wants to come talk to you. And then when she came up, she she the lady talked so highly of me. And I was just like, I'm out. And then my manager was like, oh my God, Jackie, you're like the best. Um, yeah, I, remember, I think that was like, are before the pandemic too and it's crazy it's like for me when I do my job I try to be the best at what I do and you know shout out to that lady I don't remember who you are um but yeah I never got a raise though so bruh these are the fucking customers I hate bruh so you know how we be having sensors on clothes and shit when they be coming up to the register and pointing out the fucking sensors act like that's my fucking job well, how the, why the fuck you telling me how to do my job like, bitch, I see the fucking sensor. I'm getting to it. I'm scanning that bitch first. And while you're paying, I'm gonna fucking take the sensor off. That's how the fuck I do my job. Don't fucking sit here by. Don't fucking that sensor. I hate when bitches do that shit. That shit pisses me off when you tell me how to do my job. Bitch, I know how to do my fucking job. So, like, now fuck off and put your card in or give me cash. Fuck off. And then, you know, we always got those customers that be getting mad for no reason or be getting attitude for no reason. That shit be pissing me off. I, like, like I said, a lot of times I just let things brush off because I don't care. I don't got the time of day for it. I really don't give a fuck. You can hate me. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go live my life and do my thing. Like, you can hate me all you want. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm still breathing. I'm still doing my thing. I don't care. There have been plenty of times people got mad. I mean, especially the beginning, like when we came back from quarantine, we had a stupid ass line system, and people would always be cutting people and all that shit. And they would get mad at me. I'm like, bitch, I don't, I, I ain't do that shit. <laughs> I ain't do that shit. I just work it, bro. You can get mad at me all you want, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You still gonna pay me? You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to think of all the stories. I know I have more. I just don't remember. Like I've had like the concussions from football. Well, my memory is kind of shit, and like I said, like, I, and plus I brushed off a lot of things, so I really do not remember anything else. I'm trying to think. I will say I rem I miss working with my friends, bro. Like in high school, bro, I had a job where it was me, Boomy, Arshon, and Darian. That shit was fucking funny, bro. Fucking um, <laughs> Darian low, he got fired like two weeks in <laughs> because like the the manager forgot about his ass and didn't schedule his ass, and so he just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go find another job." Arshan quit because he ain't fuck with me and Boomy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Arshan just quit because um, it was, we were still seniors at the time. So it was um, in the way of his schedule. So it just left me and Boomy, bro. That shit used to be fun. Me and Boomy used to be like fucking around. There'll be times when me and Boomy like, because we always fucking closed. She always had those fucking closing. That shit fucking sucked. But like I was the bar like barista making the drinks. I think, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. But, you know, me and him were fucking, we always had fun, bro. We, I remember there was one time we went in the fucking bathroom, fucking around, cleaning the toilet and shit. But we were just fucking around at work. And also, when I used to work at the pizza place, I used to work with my boys. Was, <laughs> Boomy was also there. Sam, um, Alex, Kai, Guppy. That shit used to be so fucking fun, bro. Fucking, that place fucking sucked. The the owner of that store was low-key probably racist, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> um, he was on the paying us. We were getting 725 Man, he got me fucked up. Um, I mean, that shit was so funny. I used to work with fucking me, Boomy, Alex, Kai, Guppy. We always just make hella food and eat hella food. 
Oh, <laughs> like there would be days where we would just sit there and make our own food and eat our food, watch TV and shit. That place would be dead as fuck. And also, no, fuck the owner too, bro. He, he, that bitch is like invasion of privacy. That bitch would be staring at the cameras. He, like, I remember there would be times when we'd be just chilling. He would text us and be like, get off, the, get off the phone, get off the table. Like the fuck, like, bro. Fuck that place too. Like, that was a good, I miss, I miss working with my friends. But I miss my old GM too. He was a cool dude, like, general manager. Like, he was a cool fucking dude, bro. He just used to tell us crazy stories, bro. I'm, I miss working with people like that. But with that being said, that's probably going to conclude this video. If y'all have any crazy stories with you interacting with any customers, let me know down below in the comments. Like, comment them. Like, I feel like that would be a cool little video of me reading out your crazy story times with experiences that y'all have with customers. With that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And go down and hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it if y'all enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button because, like I said, I'm a full-time YouTuber. And we're going to be dropping bangers. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, shout out.